Beach is professional development. Oh, can you read Oh, I'm there? sorry. I blew it already. Let's start again. NEO is volunteer of a mentorship program coordinator by a little hard for me to read. By a 11A Chicago? Yeah, Internal Institutes of Internal Auditors of Chicago. Okay. In the next meeting, his uh, mentor asked NEO to discuss about the question, what do you regret not doing at any job in your career so far? This speech is based on what NEO prepared to answer his is it mentors or mentee? Mentee? Yeah, my mentee, mentee made questions. these questions. Oh. questions. Yeah. Okay. So I was asked the following question. Is there anything that you regret not doing at any job in your career so far? Anyone to have this feeling? So, if I ask this question to maybe a, a career coach, he would say that most of people regret for not pursuing uh, their dreams or their passion. But I would answer differently. Maybe I regret for not following so much my uniqueness. And by uniqueness, it means your natural strength and weakness. There is a study that showed that majority of people focus on their weakness rather than, than strengths. And the reason for that is because most people believe that what they already have, they will not lose it. And it will be uh, more difficult for, for them to be better on what they already have. And regard, regarding what they don't have, they, uh, uh, they don't have, it's easier to develop, acquire, and be good at, at it. However, there was another study in a university that proved that a group of people that used their strengths in different ways over time, after six months, they not only got better results, but they got happier and less depressed. There is a famous story of a tennis player who liked tennis here. So his name is Peter Sampras. Anyone know? Yeah. So he had a, a coach at that time that he was not champion of the world, that he, his coach insisted that, Pete, you need to develop your weakness, that is your backhand. So you are only going to be champion of the world if you train over and over again your weakness. So he started to exactly practice his weakness that was his backhand, but he was always close to be champion of the world, but never managed to achieve this milestone. Until one day he decided to change his coach, and his coach taught him that forget about your weakness, you need to focus on your strength. And your top strength is your forehand. So you need to not be good at your forehand, you need to be awesome. You need to have a killing forehand. So he trained over and over again, very happy to practice his strength. And with that, he even developed a technique that even if the ball went to his left side, he would go around the ball and hit with his forehand. With that, guess what? He became champion of the world. So bottom line is that in order for you to be successful in any career, first of all, don't compare yourself with anyone else. In, uh, each person has your own uniqueness. So find your uniqueness, find what is your natural strength and develop good, uh, good enough to be awesome on that way better than the majority of people. Regarding your weakness, don't get me wrong, you will not forget, but just develop, develop into a certain 
level that will not negatively impact the achievement of your goals. And finally, if it's possible, and this is what I regret, maybe not put so much emphasis in trying to find, is a good mentor that especially have this clinical eye to look at yourself, value for what you are, value your uniqueness, and then focus on different methods to develop your natural strength until you be great at your profession. So, uh, again, number one, uh, don't compare yourself with anyone else. Focus on your strength and find a good mentor. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. I have proof this works because this is what President Trump used to become president.